This video will demonstrate how to use vendor quotes. With vendor quotes, you will be able to send out a list of material items to your vendors requesting prices. Then when you receive prices back from your vendors, you can compare the prices between the vendors and accept the prices that best suit your needs. Let me show you how it works. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to your Edge Administration portal by clicking the gray gear at the top of the Edge. Now on the Edge Administration portal in the orange column on the left, you'll go to where it says Database and you'll click the drop down arrow. Now you'll come down to Vendors and you'll click it. We already have a list of vendors. I'm going to show you how to add a new vendor. So I'm going to come to the upper right corner and click this green button that says Add. Now I'm going to fill in most of these boxes. I quickly fill them in. They're not all mandatory. You don't need notes. You don't need the website. You don't need facts, but you can fill those in if you'd like. You're going to want to make this vendor active in order to actually request quotes from that vendor. And you're going to want to come down here and click the Add button, and that will add this active vendor. Currently, there are only two active vendors on this list of vendors. Okay, let me show you how to actually send out or quotes from vendors. Here on the material pricing screen you're going to want to select the material items that you want to get a price quote for from a vendor or vendors. Now up near the top of the material pricing screen we have an icon right here. If you hover over it it says vendor quotes. You're going to want to click it and it will take you to the Edge Administration portal to the place where you can send out for a vendor quote. So what you're going to want to do is fill in a date here sometime in the future where you want to receive the quotes by that date. If you have a reference number, you'll fill it in here. If you want to add notes, you'll fill them in here. You can actually tell the vendor or vendors the address of the bid and the name of the bid if you'd like to. You're going to want to turn on the vendors that you want to receive the quotes from. These are the material items that I selected from the material pricing screen you can change the order quantity if you'd like to. You can actually delete some of these material items if you'd like to, and you can click Send. What that's going to do is allow you to review this. When we click Send, it's going to send an email to these two vendors and they will receive the email saying you would like prices for these material items. So I'm going to click send here. Successfully sent. The email that the customers will receive will look something like this. And they will click this hyperlink to actually enter the prices for the material items that you are requesting prices for and they will send the quote back to you and you will be notified. Now after your vendors have sent the email back with the prices you will receive a notification bell up in the upper right corner up here. So no matter where you are in the edge at the time that you receive the notification it doesn't matter you can be in the middle of another job you can be anywhere in the edge when you come up here and click on the bell icon it's going to 
open up the job that you were in when you requested the quote, and it will take you straight to, it'll check out the, the scenario, and it will take you stay, straight to the material pricing screen in that job. Very cool. So this is a comparison of the quote from the two vendors. Here's one vendor, here's another vendor. And here are the prices that the vendors sent in. You have a choice. You can choose the lowest price for each of those items. If the price happens to be exactly the same, it doesn't decide for you which vendor to take it from, so you'll need to tell it which vendor you want to accept the price from. Or you can just choose to take all of the prices from one vendor or the other. Lowest prices, one or the other. Pretty cool. And then all you need to do is click the apply button and it will fill in the unit price that you have selected for those items. That's it. That's vendor quotes. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.